Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be a different type of video. This is something that's been so highly requested on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram, on my Snapchat, on like when I do like Instagram live. So many people want to know about my tattoos. I have, I think nine or ten, I don't even know at this point, but I have tattoos all over. It's very hard to see them when I'm like this, like you can't see any of them, but then once I start like showing them and all that, that's where you can see them more. So I just figured I would go one by one on each of my tattoos, why I got them, where they are, if there's a reason behind them, all that stuff. So the first tattoo that I ever got is on my foot. And I don't know how I'm gonna show this, but I'll show it like this. <laughs> it's right here. I got it when I was 19. I got it a really long time ago. It's the first tattoo I've ever had and me and my best friend got it together. It says trust because we've been friends since we were like 11 years old. She's been my friend for so many years. Her got her child is my godson. So it's just that's been one of the only people and one of the first people that I ever trusted with a lot of things. She's always been my go-to. She's always been like ride or die. That's just my best friend. So we decided to just get trust on our foot. So the second tattoo that I got, I want to say was this one. I got this right after I got the one on my foot and it is a treble clef. I sang, I, I mean I still sing, but I was in choir pretty much all of my life and music is a very, very big part of me and my life and I've just, I've always been around music my entire life. So I got a treble clef and at the end of the treble clef, instead of putting a little circle, I put the heart right there. So that is tattoo number two. Tattoo number three was right here on my back. See if I can even show you guys. Right there. And it says Ferus, which is fierce in Latin. I am a big, like, I love different cultures and different languages and different religions. Like, I'm just very intrigued by more than what I know. So, I just wanted to get different things in different languages. So, that's why I got fierce on my back. That day, I remember I just woke up and I was like, I want a tattoo. I was feeling very badass that day. And I was like, I want to get a tattoo. I want to get something like really fierce and I was like what if I just get the word fierce but in a different language so that's what inspired that tattoo. Then my next tattoo was this one right here. It's in Hebrew Sanskrit and I the whole inspiration behind this tattoo is I'm someone that's very impulsive, very daring. I'm not scared of anything. I'm very just like crazy so I wanted I lo always love the quote that said she who dares but I didn't want to put she who dares. I wanted it in a different language. So apparently in Hebrew, she who dares isn't like a correct sentence. So I just had them look up something that was as close to that as possible. So this is basically like daring pretty much. And at first I was scared. I was like, oh my God, what if that's not what it really means? But I've had multiple people stop me in like gas stations and stores and be like, oh, so you're courageous, huh? Because of my tattoo, like people that can read it. So that means my version of she who dares but it doesn't really mean she who dares it means daring if that makes sense then the next tattoo that i got was this one right here and it is the all-seeing eye the eye of horus like i've said i'm very intrigued with different religions cultures and languages and this was just something that i saw and i was like i love what that means it's the all-seeing eye it's supposed to protect ward out evil all that stuff and I guess depending on your religion this could be like an evil or a good but I'm very open-minded when it comes to that I've always I was raised Catholic Christian all of that and I've always gone to church I am a firm believer in God and the spirit world and all of that and I was just I don't know this it, this to me doesn't mean evil it just it's the all-seeing eye so um, I got that one there another tattoo that I got was my bumblebee this is Ivy I'll show you her right here and it actually trails to the back of my neck. When I was really, really young, I got stung on the back of my neck by a bee or a wasp and since that, and the thing is that I don't, I was so little that I don't remember it, but I am terrified, like terrified of wasps, bees, anything that I hear, zzz, I freak the fuck out. Like I am so scared of wasps and bees that I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get this on me and I'm gonna make her look like me. So she looks like me, she has a widow's peak like me, she has my butt chin, she even has my mole, which it might be kind of hard to see here. And I just love her, like I love her. So many people stop me about this tattoo, like if I'm wearing like an off the shoulder or something like this, there I always get compliments on this tattoo because it's just very different and I love her. So then another tattoo that I got was this one right here. And it goes down to about right there. And this is actually a lyric from a Jay-Z song. 
So you can basically say that I'm a thug. Like, I'm like, I'm a hard as hell. But it's a song called Beach Chair, and it's one of my favorite Jay-Z songs. It's probably my favorite Jay-Z song of all time. And in the chorus, he says, life is just a dream. So I put that on me, and it says, life is just a dream. And it wraps this way. Then one of the most important tattoos to me is this one right here, and it is my last name on my ring finger. Me and my sisters are the last girls in my family. There's how many of us? Yeah, me and my sisters, we're the last girls. Like, we're the girls, and so our, after my dad, our last name is done, like, on our side of the family. And my last name is very rare. If you don't know my last name, my last name is Cora. It's a very, very rare last name, especially in the Puerto Rican culture, in the Hispanic culture period. When people hear my last name, they're like, what? what is that? Because my last name is not Puerto Rican. It's French. They ended up looking up where my last name came from, and it's French. And the reason that we got it was because my grandfather passed away two years ago, and when he passed away, it kind of just hit us like how proud we were to carry his last name. So on his birthday last year, me and my younger sister, we were like, let's do it. Let's go get it for grandpa. So we got our last name tattooed. I got it on my ring finger because it's I'm, I'm not going to have this last name whenever I decide to get married. I'm thinking about hyphenating it. I might, or I might put it to my middle name. Like I might put, be like Ivana Cora and then whatever my last name is. But I'm, I don't know yet, so I just decided to put it on my ring finger because they say that your ring finger is, there's like a vein that goes directly to your heart and it's my grandpa and I am very proud of my last name. So that's Cora. Then the two most recent that I've done are two that Tyler have done on me. T Tyler's a tattoo artist, Tyler is Bay. So this one is another one that means a lot to me and it is the Aries symbol. I am an Aries, my birthday is April 2nd and I am very much an Aries. I am the epitome of what an Aries woman is. I, if you look up all the definition of an Aries, it that my picture should just be right there. And I am, I love being an Aries. Like I love what we stand for. We're very proud people. We're very hardworking people. We're passionate. We're determined. We're, we're boss ass bitches. And guys, because, I mean, yeah. So yeah, so I just wanted to get this. I was feeling very powerful the day that I wanted it. Like I was just, I had been going through a lot within the last, like those months before that. And I just, it like reminded me like, bitch, you're a boss ass bitch. Like go get a tattoo of an airy symbol, <laughs> I guess. Then my last tattoo is this one right here. This one is a constellation of Cassiopeia. And the reason that I got it is my favorite movie of all time. My number one favorite movie is a movie called Serendipity. And that movie is really old. It's with John Cusack and Kate Beckinsale. It is my favorite movie of all time. I love what the movie stands for. Serendipity means a fortunate accident. And I just, I love the meaning of that. And I've always wanted to get something about serendipity tattooed on me, but I figured I would go a different route and I would put Cassiopeia. And the whole story behind it is he, they meet like as a fortunate accident. Like they both meet in this really weird way. And so they end up going to get like ice cream or something. They go skating, they go ice skating and the girl falls, Kate Beckinsale falls. He's putting a band-aid on her. And as he's putting a band-aid, he's pointing at her freckles. And she's like, or the curse of the British. And he's like, no, 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 if you look closely, it's Cassiopeia. And he takes and he connects her freckles to basically be this. And it was on her arm, so. That's just a little part of the movie that's just super cute and I love it. If you've never seen the movie Serendipity, look it up. You will love that movie. I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, that those are all of my tattoos. I hope this is interesting to whoever wanted to see it. Like I said, it was very, very highly requested. So I figured I just I would just do it because so many people have asked me to do a tattoos, meaning behind my tattoos video. And I'm pretty sure I will be getting more. There's actually one that I want. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you have not already. Please leave any requests as well down below. Follow me on my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, which I will leave down below as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.